Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So today I decided to do a UI guide again. So today I'm going to be covering Tell Me When. So for, for those people who don't know or not familiar with Tell Me When, Tell Me When is basically equivalent to what we chorus are. So basically you can keep track of buffs, item cooldowns and things like that. Um, I feel Tell Me When is actually way easier to use and that's why I'm going to be doing a little guide because it's going to be very basic because I feel what Tell Me When does is basic. I feel any of the spell coolers and things like that, tell me when can do them perfectly. I get I get um I get asked this a lot for my tier 20. Let's say I how do I track I'm actually in tier 19 gear. But how do I track things like let me actually speak and do the right one. How do I track things like tier 24 set on rest of druid? Like thing 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 like right here. Now this is actually super super easy to do on Tell Me When. If you're a little familiar with it, it takes you two seconds. It literally takes you two seconds to do things like that. And I'm going to show you how. So once you install Tell Me When, uh, you can uh, type in forward slash Tell Me When or TMW to actually open up the menu. So you'll see something different. I'm seeing all of my current Tell Me When profiles. So you can see that my bar, my whole rest of Druid bar is actually a Tell Me When profile. Now, if you want to actually create something new, you can just select any new icon or, and right click on them and you'll get the menu and then you go to general, actually you go to group and then you see, click at the very top and you select a new profile on the profile. Now you can actually go under global and create a new global group. Now what global group does, these three, uh, these three icons for me are global. So this used to track debuffs in uh, Nighthold. This obviously tracks my heroism buff. So this shows up for every character that I log on that I have Tell Me When loaded on. So that's what I mean by global. So if you have something similar that you want to track across all of your characters, you can do that. Just go to group and select new group and global. I don't want to select a new group. I just I just don't want to do a new global. I'm just going to do uh, just a new icon. So I just click on this and you can see here that I have four new icons. So that's like the default tell me when what it gives you like four icons to choose from. I don't want four icons and also you need to make sure that you actually pay attention to the roles that are being selected because I only want my healer to be selected when I'm in a healing uh, spec and when I'm actually in resto spec this is this is only going to be loaded then. Uh, a lot of issues that people have tell me when is that they don't have one of these selected or they have the wrong settings for this and the, the weak or not the weak or the tell me when icon is just not loading because of that so make sure that's not selected or make sure it's selected to a specific buff specific spec so i don't want four so you can see columns and just go to one i just want one column uh, you can see here you can lock the position if you want i don't want to lock the position i want to be able to drag it and um, you can if you want you don't you can move it across the screen if you want you can use a more precise way of doing it if you're super uh, like you want to align it along the edges and things like that which I do all the time so I actually use that feature all the time so this is the basic overview so you basically have your icon set up amazing that's 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 basically the hard well not the hardest part but that's a big battle here so if you go to the icon itself settings you can see that there's a lot of options available so let's say in this one I want to track um, Let's say I want to track the tier 20 bonus for Rest of Jutes, which is called Blossoming, which is called Blossoming. Let me actually completely verify this. So I have it set. Not Concordance of the Legion Fall. It's Blossoming Efflorescence. So let's say I want to keep track of bless Blossoming Efflorescence. Blossoming Efflorescence in itself is actually a buff to a target. So you just need to look at both debuffs. Most of the time you'll be just using both debuffs and probably spell cooldowns and maybe item cooldowns if you want to track uh, if you want to track things like Kill Jaden's Trinket. So you can see my Kill Jaden's Trinket is icon is here. It's set to the Grand Deceivers, the Deceivers Grand Design. And uh, it is set under item cooldown. It is set on the bar. So I we just want to track a buff debuff. So you select both debuff and when it says what to track, blossoming, you don't even need to type in the full name, it is under suggestions on the right hand corner, you'll see it tracks all the spell IDs really really well and it actually brings them up really fast. So I just want to track blossoming and fluorescence, I want to make sure that who to watch, this is, you don't even need to change that player, you want to check yourself. It's a buff, 
you can just, it's a check it's only cast by me you don't really need to do that but you can check it and the the thing that you're really going to change here is the opacity in color so i want the icon to be shown when it's present so therefore the opacity or the visibility of an icon is going to be 100 percent so when it's absent it's going to be not showing at all i can set it to 50 percent opacity so when it's absent um you'll see here so i just click ok and forward slash tmw you can see that it shows up it uh, shows up like opacity 50 percent now you can see the icon is not there because some of the icons you actually need to set custom textures and things like that so for this one you can you can set here custom texture you can go to blossoming and fluorescence and that'll find the icon for you uh, this sometimes it does automatically sometimes it doesn't so if your icon doesn't look completely right just go to custom textures and type in blossoming and fluorescence or the uh, name of the icon uh, name of the buff uh, in the custom textures bar so the main thing i'm going to set it to a little i don't care let's set it to not shown when it's absent now you want to show the timers and you want to show the timer text so this is going to show the cooldown or how long the buff actually lasts in this case it's the buff debuff so you're going to show how long it's going to last now the next part is a little bit trickier and um, if you really want to customize like say the way the stacks look so i actually have my you can see here my swiftman and my swiftman has stacks so i like to i like my stacks to be shown on the bottom right hand corner now to actually do that and tell me when is actually way more difficult than you might think and um, there are specific let's go in, in blossoming fluorescence for example there are specific text layouts that you have so you have a bar layout text uh, center number icon layout I've created a specific one called Icon Layout 2. Uh, icon Layout 2. So let's just go to Icon Layout 1 and you can type in, you can click this little cog here and go to Layout Settings. In Layout Settings, you can go to Stacks. Uh, now, you have the option of cloning layout. If you're gonna clone the, clone the layout, it's gonna look something similar. You're gonna clone like an Icon Layout 2 like I did. So once you have Icon Layout 2, you can select it and go to Cog. And then you go to stacks and you can kind of see how the stacks have got the font size of the stacks the width height um, and things like that you can actually modify how the outline you can actually point out where it's going to where it's going to be appearing as well as well so this is actually the advanced section of tell me when when you want to show stacks so this is something that you want to use for your grand receivers design um, and swift man wants to use prosperity and things like that um, but you most likely won't be covering it so you don't even have to worry about it I'm pretty sure you will only have the option to do icon layout icon layout one which is perfectly fine so you select this and that's basically it that's it you click ok you click ok for slash tell me when to load into it and now once you put your fluorescence you go swift man and you get the buff here that's it that's the way to track any buff that you get with tell me when so this is going to cover around 90 percent of your week not weaker I keep saying it tell me when um, needs or any kind of world of warcraft needs specific specific to tiers specific to new uh, new spells or uh, or new items or buffs or tiers and things like that like i also mentioned but you can also go to tell me when and make it a bit look make, make it look a little bit prettier you can add conditions and notifications so notifications things like that you saw my previous when I activated Swiftman, my icon kind of glowed. So to add notifications, you just right click on the icon. Uh, you make sure it's this icon that you want to select. Uh, so it's blossoming a fluorescence. I want to add a notification. So add a notification to one that I always use, which is glowing option when it first pops up or when it's about to come off cooldown is animation. Is animation is one of the best ways to use it. I don't really use sound because you're gonna get bombarded with beeps, boops, baps, and stuff like that. I don't really care about sounds. I go to animation and I go to visibility on show. So the, what that means is that when this buff is being is gonna be show is going to be shown. So when you actually activate your swiftman and we actually get the tier for set proc, it's going to be unshown and it's going to uh, going to do a border around it. So that's the one I always either do. I, I either do on show or on hide. Uh, and it works for 90% of everything, all the tell me when profiles that I did. So on show, and what I do after this, I actually, my favorite one is, not shake, is activation border. And I set it to about one second. So it's going to play for one second. You can set it to play indefinitely, which is going to be 
basically you see it, it's going to be the uh, board is going to glow for the whole time it doesn't even matter so i'll set it to indefinitely i'm going to click ok and load out of the settings so now i'm going to click swiftman it's gonna show my activation border for the whole duration so you're gonna be like oh man the swiftman is working efflorescence is working i better make sure i'm gonna place it well so you can do that you can do that if you really want that visual cue on your screen now this is like i said one of the one of the major major needs that most people want buffs and debuffs Besides that, you want to also have a look at item cooldown. So I've seen this a lot with trinket, trinket procs and things like that. How to keep track of it. Like for, in my instance, I have the deceives grant design. And how do I keep track of that? So you need to, like in here, I said, you need to click into item cooldowns and what to track. So the deceivers, you see, it actually comes up straight away. It actually, like it's in the, on the suggestion, it finds you all the spells that you need. The database is amazing. The Deceiver's Grant Design, you can load it only if in, if, in, if in bags, I only load it if it's equipped, only if equipped. So that's another really, really good, really good uh, way of actually making sure that no tell me when icons are going to be loaded when you don't actually use the icon. So like I said, I don't want to use this custom, uh, custom texture, custom texture should load out by itself, you can see here. Um, and I want to be shown when it's ready. And that's basically it. And I don't want to be shown when it's not ready. So when this pops up on my screen, I know I have a stack of the Kill Jaden Trinket, which is perfect. Um, so that actually works by itself. Now, I have the notification enabled for it as well. Now, you can also add things like conditions. Conditions are actually really, really cool depending on what you want to do exactly. Let's say, this is not a really good example, but let's say our prosperity or our swiftman is only going to be loaded. It's not a good example, but it's only going to be loaded when you have a specific talent or when you spec into uh, when you spec into like resto. So I have multiple, multiple like you can see here for my resto, resto bar. I have multiple buffs here and multiple icons that load depending on what spec you in or depending on what talent you are. So you can see, for example, here I have scenario ward. So my condition for scenario ward is that my talent learned. So you can so you can go to actually if I remember it was class and talents and click on talent learned. So you go to talent learned and then you type in the name of the talent scenario word and you play, uh, press true. So now my scenario word talent is only gonna be loaded if I have that talent selected and that's it. And that gives you condition conditions notifications and icons are the majority of the whole guide. Hopefully this was provide you with a bit better overlook of what tell me when is i feel it's super super easy to make any icons for anything that you need um i feel i feel it's a lot easier than we course because i got used to tell me when a lot easier but the thing is if you ever need to track anything tell me when is you can do it in five seconds especially by watching this little guide uh, you can just do it in a couple of seconds you can just move it on your screen you can resize it if you want and it's going to be there and it's going to show you. You don't have to go through Wago. You don't have to go through the, web, uh, through the other websites and look for stuff. Especially for small things. If you need some trinket trackers or some, like I said, tier 20 trackers. Tell me when is definitely the way to go. So thank you for watching this little guide. Let me know if it helped you. Let me know if you, just, if you want to start using Tell Me When. I feel it's a good, good option. And uh, thank you for watching this little guide. And I'll see you in my next little video.